everybody. Today we're going to do a little review. So let's start with the review for the equation of a circle. You see it right in front of you. Keep in mind we're always thinking opposite. So it says minus h minus k. So the center is hk. It's always equal to the radius squared. So the radius is the square root of r squared. When you're squaring and taking the square root, remember you can simply cancel, why is my pen not working, the square and the square root, and you get r. All right, let's review quickly how we do a problem. Remember that the integer always has to be by itself on one side of the equation, everything else on the other side. Well, this one was easy because it looks like our x's are together. We know we're going to add some number. Our y's are together. We're going to add some number. If I add a number to the left, I have to add those same amount of numbers to the right. Next thing, I set up my parentheses so it looks like the equation of the circle. I see an x, drop an x, x squared, whatever this sign is, drop it. Half of 2 is 1, 1 squared, scoops right up here, is 1. See a y squared, drop a y. What's this sign? Drop it. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. I added a 1 and a 16. That adds to 100. Now we know we have to think opposite. Our center is negative 1, negative 4. Our radius squared is 100. Therefore, what do we want? We want the radius, which is the square root of 100, to be 10. That's the equation of a circle. How about the area of the sector? Remember, it is always little to big. What is a sector? If we have a circle and we have a piece of the circle, and this is the area of the sector, the shaded sector, just like a slice of pizza. If something is given in terms of pi, use radians. If it's given in degrees, use 360. The area of the circle is pi r squared. We also talked about arc length. Well, keep in mind if we have a circle all the way around is 360. And here is our sector, but the arc length is this piece over here, part of the outside of the circle. Remember that our formula for circumference, we should actually write arc length here. The total circumference of a circle, circumference is 2 pi r, or circumference is pi times the diameter. I'm going to take a look at question 3. Question 3 says, find question 3. The area of a sector of a circle with radius measuring 15 centimeters is 75 pi centimeters squared. What is the measure of the central angle that forms the sector? So here we go, the area of a sector, okay, the radius is 15, and we're given the area of the sector. It says, what is the measure of the central angle that forms the sector? Even though this is in pi, but if you look at all your choices, they're in degrees. So when I set up my little to big, Do I know the measure of the angle? No, but the whole circle is 360 degrees. The little part, the shaded sector, is 75 pi, but the area of the whole circle is pi r squared, so pi times 15 squared. Take a moment to pause your computer, solve this problem, and then turn it on and see if you get the same answer that I got. I hope you got the same answer. Remember, you can always pause your computer at any time to stop and copy the work down. The next one that we're going to look at is number six. It says, in the diagram below, two concentric circles with center O, radii OC, OD, it should say OCE, and ODF are drawn. 
Concentric just means one circle inside the other. If OC is 4 and OE is 6, which relationship between the length of arc EF and the length of arc CD is always true? So what do we have to remember about this? We have to remember that circles grow proportionately. So this was growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They say that they want to know the relationship between arc EF and the length of arc CD. This is really just a little to big problem. Except if you look, they keep they kept doing arc EF to CD, so they really did big to little. So I'm going to just erase that and make mine big to little. What are we comparing? We are comparing arc EF to arc CD. And remember, since they grow proportionately, everything in the circle grows proportionately, like the radii. So the radii, if we look at our EF, the radii of that circle is 6. And if we look at our CD, the radii is 4. And that reduces to 1.5. The length of our EF is 1.5 times the length of our CD. Let's go to question 8. In the diagram below, the circle shown has, a ra has radius 10. Angle B intercepts an arc with length 2 pi. What is the measure of angle B in radians? Let's go back and look again. Arc. Look, what the heck happened to my question? Let me go back. Sorry about that, kids. Arc with a length of 2 pi. So now we know we're talking arc length. Little to big. Let's fill it in. Do we know, what do we know? We know the radius. We know what the arc length is. So maybe I'm just going to fill in, um, it doesn't really matter the order that you fill it in. But I guess if we want to stay consistent, do we know the angle? No, that's our unknown. They call it B, so you know what? I'm going to call it B. I'm going to put it over 2 pi because look at all my choices. Do I know the length of the arc? I do. That was given as 2 pi. And then since it's arc length, it's the circumference, so it's 2 times pi times the radius. I'm going to cross multiply, and I get 20 times pi times b is equal to 4 times pi times pi. Let's see, I have a pi here and a pi here. I can get rid of those. Now I will divide by 20 to get b by itself. And b is equal to 1 fifth pi. So remember that pi over 5 is the same as 1 fifth pi.